My boobs are down here. <laughs> hey guys, I'm Stevie, and this is my lovely friend Amanda. She calls me her mom sometimes. I am son. <laughs> so before I was Stevie's son, I actually worked at a shop that sold bras. And today, she's going to teach us how to measure our own boobs in case we don't want to go to the store and have strangers touch them. If maybe having big boobs doesn't match your gender identity, or clothes that you want to wear, or if you're not close to them all. What else? What other other reasons you want to measure your boobs? Just because it's fun. Let's, <laughs> let's have some fun. Let's figure it out. Like, we want to get like all like all the lads and all the gals together and like do a little measuring party. Oh my god, you could have fun. a boob measuring party. Oh my gosh, like you would people have like those like their first moon parties when they have their period, yeah. their boob measuring party. Mm -hmm. Another reason might be if you're like me and your boobs change sizes all the time. And if you're like me and you like to like keep them not existing <laughs> and you don't want to have to go into a store not wearing a, something that's going to like constrict them. So you're supposed to have like one of those soft tape measures, but I, um, this is all we got. a lot of people don't know that you actually measure with a bra on instead wow. of like taking them off. So tip number one, measure with a bra on. Yeah. Best is like not a push up, not something that's going to be a sports bra, but something in the middle, like a demi cut, nice, light. Like, I don't even normal. know what's, what's demi cut mean, like Lovato? Oh my god, okay. You get your measurer here. I, we have a measurer, all right. Here, here, I have here. a boob. First you're gonna get your band size, and you do that by putting this around okay. the top area, and then you pull it really, really tight, and you get the closest round number. What's a round number? Like, like different than a yeah, like square your, number? <laughs> yeah, the closest even number. 30, 30, 32. 32. Cool. Cool. Band size, 30. Wait, why isn't it here? Isn't this where the band is? Like, you can do either way, up top or on the bottom, but I was always taught to do up top. Hmm. Okay. So now when someone's like, here's my dick size, it's eight inches, you could be like, band size, 32, <laughs> sir and or madam. <laughs> now you're going to do the same thing, but around this area. Here in the middle? Yeah. Okay. So over my nipples? Mm-hmm. See if I can remember where they are. <clears throat> so pull it tight. Not too tight. This time you leave it a little bit loose. Okay. You want to be able to almost put like two fingers in between. 34. 34. So 32 minus 34 is? Two. Which means you are going to be a B size. Oh, cool. If you have a The one, last time you measured me, I was a D. Do you remember that? I don't like, no. If it's a one in between, you have an A, a two, a B, a three, a C, and so on and so forth. Mm, that was easy. Yeah. So my band size, so I'm a 32B. Mm -hmm. Well, it's different for every single person. Where it ever fits you best. So sometimes people want it a little bit looser, people want it a little bit tighter. Like normally you have the band fitting right on your back, but some people like it to ride up a little bit, be a little bit lower. So mm -hmm. everyone's different. Now we know how to measure ourselves. Mm -hmm. Congratulations, you learned something new today, guys. So. Also, this is Amanda, and we did a video on her channel where we tasted condoms. So you should check that out. And also all of her other videos because she's wonderful and you should subscribe. Cause she has so many videos. Thanks, mom. I still can't get over how many videos you have, and they're all awesome. So go check them out. And if you guys are for me, please subscribe to my mother Stevie. She makes amazing educational and funny videos like this one. Oh, thanks so much. Yay! Yay. All right, we'll talk to you guys later. Bye.